Hello everyone, this is Rich Hay from the Super Site for Windows. I want to give you a video example of what it's like to move programs from an internal storage device on the Xbox One to an external one. As you've read earlier in this blog post, um, I have installed a one terabyte USB 3.0 drive as my external using a very simple inexpensive enclosure that I picked up off Amazon and you can read about the details in the blog post that goes with this video and I formatted it, plugged it into Xbox One while the Xbox One was turned on, formatted it, and then started to move my games and apps over to it because you can format drives and storage devices in two different ways in Xbox One. One is games and apps, or one as storage for like media such as music, video, and pictures. So I chose to put this as my games and apps drive, and I've moved everything off the internal drive except for the apps that aren't able to be moved, and I've moved all my games and all my apps over to the external drive. And these are the stats right now. I've got 5.7% used on the internal, which you get 364 gigabytes out of the 500 gigabyte hard drive. And on the external, I have uh, used 23% of the drive, putting everything over onto it, and still have 715 gigabytes worth of storage. The drive I used in that external drive is a Barracuda 7200 RPM hard drive, which means a faster spin speed, faster data movement speed, and that's definitely the way you want to go. You can do this with a 5400 RPM drive. It will just be a little bit slower in the transfers. All right, so let me show you exactly how you go through the process once you've got your drive set up, how you move stuff from one drive to the other. So as you can see here, I've got the internal drive selected, so I'm going to go ahead and click into that. I'm going to choose view contents and it's going to show me uh, what you would typically see in apps and games and so it shows me games shows me any apps that are installed on the external on the internal hard drive and it shows me any cube so let me see if I can select yep so you go in like this app the EA access app I can go into manage app and then it automatically has default to pick what I want to do and I can choose move all, copy all, or uninstall all. So I'll pick move all. It'll say hey you're about to move something from internal to external. Click move and it will cue that move up. And what will happen here on screen you'll actually see it and there it goes very quick because it's a very small file. So now as you can see it's marked as stored on the external file uh, hard drive no longer on the internal. So I'll go back again to my uh, apps and settings and I'll go up to games and I'm going to move Titanfall now. So what you have to do is you have to use the hamburger menu on the Xbox controller. Kind of like right click in Windows. Get a context menu. That's how I get the manage game. And then again you can see that I have um, already put some smaller stuff onto the external drive, some add-ons and things like that. But I'll go in here and select it. I'll select move all. I'll confirm the move and the move will start to happen in just a second. Alright, and there it goes. Now this is 20 gigabytes worth of data. My experience on this from earlier in the day was it took less than five minutes to transfer 20 gigs of data from the internal drive to the external drive using the USB 3.0 and having that 7200 RPM drive. So it's my hope that that 7200 RPM drive, because I think the drive inside the Xbox One is only 5400 RPMs, that's why I've moved everything to the external drive because between it and USB 3.0 this should be much faster at loading up games, installing games, and stuff like that. So I'm going to pause the video for right now and then I will come back to you when this is done. Okay, we're back in the move of this uh, 25 gigabytes of data. 20 gigabytes of data is almost done. And once this final stage is complete, this will be the final item I have to transfer over to my new external hard drive storage and still have a lot of space for other games. I, I didn't have everything installed in the first place, but I have moved everything I wanted to move. Would have been nice if there had been a select all button so that I could have selected 100% of what I wanted to move at once and just let it go, but the Xbox One does multitask well. You can select everything you want to move and it will queue them up and then you can come back to it when it's all done. So. Uh, until next time, stay safe out there. Take care.